Hello, this is Jessica Michaud from the International Tile Tribune, and I'm here with the design team Ellie Kishimoto, who are presenting their first collection for the French house Cacherel. Hello. Hello. I'm um, just wondering, um, for you, Cacherel, what does that name mean to you when you think about it? It has the notions of nostalgia, and there's obviously Sarah Moon, there's Liberty of Northern France, it's about femininity. Um, the the, the, so the the rejuvenation which happened with Clemens Ribeiro seven years ago, obviously that's that's kind of in focus because of the the, the response and also the kind of uh, the positioning of that within our time within fashion as well. Mm -hmm. um, soft, mm. beautiful, pretty, easy. And, and are you going to continue on with that, or what do you want to bring to the label? What is what is the plan for you to do well, with Cacherel? We want to uh, respect the heritage of Cacherel. Is because. Uh, the respect to the heritage to the house reflect the, the respect to their own customers as well. Um, okay, they, they started 50 years ago, but in fact the customer base I don't think has changed. They're still young, uh, they, they purchase garments in a realistic way. Um, that's something that we don't want to kind of stop uh, doing. You're presenting it here today um to your audience and in the actual store itself, not on a catwalk, were you trying to get the direct reaction from the public? What was the thinking behind having this presentation? Um, we started to design the collection in November, so we were quite late in starting autumn winter, and, and we knew at that stage that we didn't want to take responsibility for the defile, because at our first season we didn't know the support that we could have, the, the actual uh, potential activity of the company behind us as well. So it was always set up for a presentation, the collection was designed for a presentation. That's, the space is an obvious space, it's in Saint-Germain, central Paris, it's a beautiful window. Um, it, it's, it's there to be exposed um, and to expose it to a direct public, to our potential customers is the best way to communicate at this stage. Okay. Um, people are very busy in Fashion Week, so therefore to, to expect all the journalists to come through in one moment is not going to really happen, it's not, not realistic. It's all about the taxi going past, maybe at 2.30 after they've been to a soiree, and they, they, they get it, they see it, and, it, and the spirit is then turns itself into a language, which hopefully creates some kind of positivity about the new direction of Cacherel. We want to in, invoke some kind of coolness again in the brand, and then next season we'll do a, um, we'll do a, big, a big presentation on Catwalk. Well, I see there are a number of people standing outside here, and it's not even open yet to the public. Have you been standing out amongst them? Have you heard any reactions from the people on the street, as it were? Of course. It's well, unexpectedly, uh, we, we just uh, caused a kind of huge reaction. The, the last night when we uh, took the paper down from the window, the, the kids and family, the, the kids didn't want to leave, yeah, they're no, taking it's, pictures. It's that was, that was. And it, and it's, we've already seen photographs on the on blogs already, so it's like it's working. It's um, I, I, to be honest, I'm I'm quite amazed with the reaction. They, they seem to be have a very much a, a passion for fashion in Paris. Absolutely, yeah. and I hear it's not just going to be the ready wear for women's. I think hear you're taking back into the fold menswear. Is that is that the yeah. case? We we we've been employed to to look after the whole creative direction of Cacherel. So therefore. The first thing that we've instigated uh, for the new spring summer is the men. So there, there, there's a woman that goes, uh, there's a man that goes with this woman. Um, so, and even though the men's wear exists, in, in, it's fragmented. But we're going to put it together as a, as a competitive ready, -wear, ready to wear collection. I think there's a, the, the name allows it to have the space, and hopefully, if we can, if we can capture an element of kind of commerciality, wearability, as well as that kind of young French coolness, I think we hopefully have an opportunity to make a commercial success as well, as well as a creative success with a bit of luck. And children's wear as well? What, is there a plan to do that as well? Yeah, the children's wear is in existence now um, and we'll just be again creatively overlooking it. Um, and then looking at all the other licensing areas such as the sunglasses, underwear, uh, home and interiors. We, we, we want to kind of give, give health and hopefully our, our eye to, all, to cover all areas so it has one identity. I think it's, it's, it's a large brand with a lot, a lot of diffused product and I think I think now in, this, in this, t this time within fashion, I think to have an intimacy, to give rewards to customers on that level, I think is, is what, what we want to give the house. And also it's very similar to what we do at Edie Absolutely. Thank you both so much for talking with the International Herald Tribune and I look forward to seeing the first show on the runway. Thank you very Thank much, Thank you very Jessica. much for coming.